Did you know if IITN joins a company, his salary is 3 to 4 lakhs higher than the others? In companies, IITNs have different promotion schemes that help them grow faster. The government allocates 10,000 crores on IIT each year. Likewise, we will talk about 25 facts that I wish I knew before joining IIT. Before joining IIT, talking with the students studying in that IIT is very important because different IITs have different stress levels. So time is 3 40. Tomorrow is a holiday. Aditya is walking on his assignments. Because the best students are studying in IIT, it's really very hard to get good grades at IIT. What's your motivation to study under a tree in a very unconventional time? So like I'm waiting for an appointment with a professor. So I thought okay let's uh, take an opportunity. A hard fact about IIT is even though you are graduated from IIT, that doesn't mean that it will give you a job security because to survive as an IITian in a company you need to keep adding value to the company. Um, in your company even if he's an IITian, if he's not adding value, what do you do? Uh, the base thing, what is his willingness to work? Today I uh, give you some work, tomorrow I shouldn't come and tell you like I shouldn't be like keep pinching you, I should shouldn't be behind you. You should come if I don't come to office also. You have to keep adding. The reason I made this video is like some fact if I known it before, I feel I could have made my IIT better. If you are someone who chose a non-CS department, you should be mentally prepared to take a heavy challenge of preparing for CS placement. Are you choosing core or non-core? Preparing for both, mostly non-core. Why non-core? Maybe high, higher packages. Why do you felt uh, preparing for uh, placement is difficult? I am coming from a mechanical background and when I see in IIT Madhya, there are just scarcity of the jobs and the package also less. So I started from scratch. So that was a big issue. For when people think of IITians, they think that IITians doesn't do sports. But actually it is not. There are crores of rupees. Every year has been invested into IITs to nurture the culture of sport. And and if you doubt, you can ask any inter IIT participant how inter IIT will be. So in good IITs, we used to go and play a lot of tournaments. And also, they invest a lot in sports facilities at IITs. They had a basketball court in the middle. They can play at whatever the time we want, whenever they want. Another one fact is that once you join IIT, you will rarely go to home. Like my friend Pranjal, in the last year, how many times you went to home? Uh, only one time. How many days? Uh, I think 15 days. Why you went only 15 days in a year to your home? The problem is that I belong to Madhya Pradesh. So the train takes around 24 hours. If I'm going by plane, it will also take too much time because there will be connected flight. That's why I do not go to home in these holidays. And another reason is the workload. Today is actually a holiday and it's uh, everyone is partying, sporting. You are actually studying. What's your motivation? What could be uh, what could be the mo motivation? Well, obviously, I have three exams in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of grades, in my experience, the courses I took in another department, the grades are actually lesser. The reason is, IITs have something called relative grading. Relative grading means you will get grades based on the performance compared to other students in the same class. Let's say I scored 85 and all the other department students scored 90 plus, then my grades will be lesser. It's like running a race where it's not about how fast I run, but also how fast I run compared to the others. So it is very difficult to outperform the students in the courses in their department. So I have to be humble sometimes. I think a lot of times. Is that a UFO going? We have unfair advantage in getting higher salaries because companies used to give higher salaries to IIT and IIM students. NIT students also. Truth be told, even in IIT, 75% of the jobs are actually outside of your core. With consulting and IT around 14% followed by software, R&D, analytics and so on. So are you choosing core or non-core? Core. That is very rare actually. <laughs> I am from aerospace engineering but yes, I applied in software. Why? Because uh, after coming here, like I discovered I don't have interest in core. Preparing for both mostly non-core. Non Why non-core? <laughs> maybe high higher packages the most enjoying group in iit is actually b-tech then m-tech ms and phd so along with the fact when you join as a fresher in a company as an iitian you will get three to four lakhs higher salary it is also the fact that if you are an iitian your promotion scheme will be entirely different and you will move faster in your job ladder that's the reason many of the students quit their job and they pursue their m-tech or mba at iit it's one of the easiest way to get an iit tag is through get mba through cap the reason i said ECS is like unless JWR gate where people's first priority is to get into top 
varieties. In CAD, the first priority is obviously, as you know, it is IM. So IIT Madras is something like ranking 14. So you can actually easily get an IIT through an MBA program. Before moving on to the next point, if you're someone preparing for GATE, there is a huge discount going on in Unacademy right now, where you can get Unacademy's GATE one year plus subscription at just 11,999 rupees and Iconic subscription at 17,999. And in one subscription, we will get access to multiple batches, all test series, practice session, doubt solving, digital books and much more. And the best part is you can use my code Raghu to get additional discount. The offer is valid till 14th April and here's the batch details. Droppers to toppers, GATE PSU 25 CS for computer science starts at 13th April 6 p.m. RM batch for GATE and PSU 26 CS starts at 13th 6 p.m. I'll put the link in the description, go check it out. King of MBS in IITs, there is a one year program called PGP VLM which is coordinatedly conducted by IIT Madras, IMC and IIT Kanpur where the students have to spend 8 months in IMC, 2 months in IIT Madras and 2 months in IIT Kanpur and that has 100 percentage placements every single year but the only problem is to get that particular degree you need to have 5 years of industrial experience I wish I knew that IIT doesn't end the stress in your life for example in the first semester I got 8.63 grades in the first semester I was not satisfied then I walk out and end up with a CGP of 8.69 then if you ask the other MTech students what they will say is they have to prepare for placements then they have to prepare for MTech projects then so much more so there will be always something extra tight it's always a good practice to research about the professors before joining the IITs the reason is one of my friend she is actually from computer science she actually took the courses of the IIT professor who took a and ML and she was able to crack the placements but that is actually not the case for many of the CS students because from their sayings it appears that not all IIT professors are good teachers also researching about good professors helps you in come up with good projects and the best part is the people who has done good MTech projects or MS projects they actually get good core placements so do a small research about the professors before joining IITs don't just blindly join IITs for their rankings Ticket. Another thing people said they wish they had known it before was they should sort of having some time management skills because honestly speaking IIT is not only of academics there are many other things that is happening and that will interest you you will be hooked to spend time in that so in that case time management skill actually helps and if you are someone who is looking for some quick hacks so that you can manage your time way better I have attached a free ebook called uh, 3 brain hacks in 2 minutes to make your study sessions way better where I discuss some powerful brain hacks you can check it out it's free in my telegram anyway let's move on to the next before point. finding out more of the cool facts about iits now at this point i feel it's a crime if we exclude nat tag so here we have shilpi she is actually working in call from she is post graduated from nat rurkela did you ever felt with your nat tag you have an uh, advantage in the uh, industry that you're currently working on when I landed into NIT, only then I understood the value of this platform. The first company which came up was Microsoft, 42 lakhs packet. So, this oh. itself was like a big opportunity. Which, which department you are from? Which? I'm from Computer Science Department. Have you ever felt that you are now graduated from NIT using that? You know, oh yeah, that is something give me some benefits. Yeah, yeah, many times it's like you meet your friends or relatives and if you go out and just say, hey, oh, you post-graduated from NIT, oh, that's a really nice. I am post-graduated from NIT Raoul Comes in the range of mid-NIT. Still, I would say NIT Raoul Killer in mid-NIT, it is one of the best. Oh. All the reputed top product-based companies come there for placement, okay. both for B-Tech students and M-Tech students. Now let's talk about some of the power of IIT. Yeah. My friend Arvin, he told that whenever he says he is an IITian, he gets some 3 seconds unwanted attention. <laughs> And another of my friends, Surya, he said that he can use this IIT tag to get a lot of dowry. One time I was riding in a bike and I didn't have a helmet. And in my friend's bike, actually, he also doesn't have a number plate. So actually, police caught. It's actually wrong, so he fined for everything some 4,000. So I thought of Kise, okay, sir, uh, we don't have money. He's not ready to listen. Sir, we are from IIT. We, I, I just requested in a humble way. And after some talks, he was like, uh, you can pay around 500 rupees and uh, you can go. So, yeah, I mean, 500 is still an amount, but still we are okay with that. Uh, but yeah, IIT tag helps. So, did you ever feel any power using your IIT tag? My junior is giving Jay this year. Some of them asked for tips like, like what did I uh, what books I saw during preparations and like I feel uh, more confident being an IT in itself is a great honor for me and for my family apart from that like in your home your families will be like uh, giving now three more uh, seconds additional oh he's the idea 
my sister also is doing iit oh your sister is also an iit and so they get used to it yeah, yeah. did they see your sister as a, oh she is an iit no. when she became an iit she she is doing uh, civil only from iit dhanbad so okay. it was not a big deal for that but they had higher expectation from me because i was good in studies from her yeah 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 having i think one of the undeniable fact is that joining an iit is something that will actually increases the expectation from your families and your surroundings did you ever feel pressure because of that no no i did only casual preparation there was no pressure on me no no now you had uh, expectations that you had to satisfy how much pressured are you no pressure zero pressure no pressure you don't give a fuck <laughs> Another fact is IIT has big alumni and good alumni network. One of my friend actually he haven't got placed in the campus place. So one day while we are having coffee at coffee day, he was uh, we met one senior who is actually working in Goldman Sachs. He told that no worry, TK, you can send me your resume. I'll I'll recommend it to my HR team. And he actually got call for interview. That's when I realized the power of IIT alumni network that we have. Another fact is talking of off-campus placements. If you are an IITian and if you didn't get placed, sometimes you don't get placed even if you are an IITian. You can apply for off-campus. If you are an IITian and you are applying for off-campus placements, at least you will get a proper reply from the team. Next, undeniably, if you are an IITian, you are having an upper edge over getting PhD. Abroad. I would also tell that if you really want to do a PhD in India or in abroad doing in masters in an IIT is the best thing you can do because the resources you have and the professors who here are so talented and their contacts are also very good they can easily give you some recommendation letters through which you could uh, get into best universities around the world but is that the things one need to know before joining IIT the answer is no because there are many things that you will know once after you join IIT and the best part is life is more exciting if there is some uncertainty is present and up to some extent otherwise life would be boring life is all about having ups and downs and going through it and if you are someone who feels that your life is going very challenging remember problems are actually a part of life and without that life will be actually boring solving problems is actually the happiness so whenever you are facing a problem figure out why the problem is happening and how to deal with it read books learn from podcasts and just apply it because systems work people fail just try to figure out the best principles or system for the particular pursuit you are doing it's not your fault it's a fault of the system that you had i believe that and if you are someone who is preparing for jw or gate and if you feel that you are not consistent in your preparation or feeling often procrastinated you can check out my free ebook titled three study hacks in 2 minutes which will make your study sessions way better it's in my telegram it's free you can check it out and also in the upcoming video i'm making a detailed uh, science explaining how to beat procrastination and stay consistent and in the upcoming videos i'm making a honest review of gate coaching institutes so subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video stay driven bye bye